Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. Today, I'm going to be binding off one of my You and Me socks, and I'd like to show you how to do a stretchy bind off for two by two or knit two purl two ribbing in the round. Using a bind off with plenty of stretch and flexibility is critical when you're finishing socks that are worked from the toe up. If the finished cuff edge doesn't have enough flexibility, it may uncomfortably dig into your leg during wear. It's also possible for the edge to be so tight it won't expand enough to pull the sock up over your heel and ankle. The method I'm going to demonstrate today is worked over two rounds and not only does it look pretty at the top of your two by two ribbing, it's firm enough to hold its shape while still having the necessary stretch for comfortable wear. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you enjoy our videos, consider joining the pack and becoming a member of the chilidog.com for ad free access to our entire learning library, priority support, and more. Before binding off, you need to work a setup round. Essentially, you're still going to knit the knits and purl the purls of your knit to purl to ribbing. The stretch is going to come from the extra yarn overs added between the pairs of knits and the pairs of purls. So before every knit pair, you're going to yarn over twice. So the yarn comes forward and over the needle once, forward and over the needle twice, and then knit two. Before every purl pair, you're going to yarn over once. So the yarn comes forward between the needles and over, and then you need to bring it forward between the needles once more so that your yarn is at the front to work your two purl stitches. Yarn over twice before the knits. My yarn is already at the front, so I'll bring it over once, forward and over twice, and then knit two, and then yarn over once before the purls. So forward and over, and then I need to bring it forward again so that I'm set up to purl my two stitches. And we'll continue in that manner with two yarn overs before the knits, one yarn over before the purls, all the way around the cuff. Once we've finished our setup round, it's time to start binding off stitches in the bind off round. Binding off is going to be similar to a plain bind off in that we are going to work a stitch and then pass a stitch over, work a stitch and pass a stitch over. And again, we'll work around in pattern. So the knits are going to be knit, the purls are going to be purled, and the extra yarn overs we added will all be slipped. We begin with our yarn at the back by slipping this first double yarn over. So you insert your needle purl wise, slip it off the needle, and then drop that second loop off the needle. We'll knit the next stitch because it's a knit, and then pass a stitch over. Knit the knit, pass a stitch over. Slip the yarn over, pass a stitch over. We'll bring our yarn forward so that we can purl the next stitch. Pass a stitch over, purl a stitch, pass a stitch over, bring our yarn to the back, and then we're at the next double yarn over. So again, we'll slip it, 
drop the second loop off the needle, pass over, knit the knits, pass over, knit the knit, pass over, slip, pass over, bring our yarn forward so we can purl the next stitch, pass over, purl the next stitch, pass over, and then bring our yarn back before that next double yarn over and continue around until we get to the last two purls of the ring. When I get to those last two purl stitches of the round, I'm just going to continue in pattern and I'll purl the purl, pass a stitch over, purl the purl, and pass a stitch over. Now, oftentimes when you are knitting in the round, you need to do something special in between this last bound off stitch and the first one to avoid any weird jogs or stair steps. But this bind up naturally creates some little stair steps. So there's nothing particularly special we have to do here. You can break or cut the end of your yarn, which I've already done. Open up that final stitch and pull the yarn tail through and then you can thread the yarn tail onto some sort of tapestry needle pull the yarn through and then to finish things off what i like to do is just go down under this first bound off stitch under the yarn over, pull the yarn tail through from the front to the back, and that kind of makes a continuation of this little curly wavy pattern that we have on the edge, and then I can just weave in the yarn tail on the wrong side of my sock cuff. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do this stretchy bind off. It's such a nice way to finish a pair of socks with a two by two ribbed cuff. If you'd like to try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com and look for our you and me socks. Until we stitch again, happy knitting.